Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Listen, um, this is going to be real short. This is going to be on the color blue. This is going to be kind of an introduction on the Tabernacle series. The Tabernacle was mentioned in the book of Leviticus. Leviticus was for the tribe of Levi. They were not given an inheritance in the land by the Lord because they were to serve the Lord in the tabernacle and then later in the temple. Generally, they were probably, probably the Sadducees. But uh, the book of Leviticus was how they were to do things. Now, there were health and diet laws in the book of Leviticus, but also the details on how to make the tabernacle. It was very, very detailed. I read through it once. I listened to it probably once or twice, but I don't, I doubt if I'm a Levitical priest and I, those kind of things were done away with. You know, that was the old covenant. So I kind of, you know, I read it, but I mean, I didn't go into any details. Um, but now I'm starting to take a look at it in detail because the furniture that I'd mentioned before in the tabernacle were in the shape of a cross. So with that in mind, this Bible study is going to be on the color blue because blue was one of the colors of that they used for the tabernacle. So let's take a look at the color blue. Now this is going to be a short Bible study. This is like a the introduction to the introduction. I'm going to break it up into colors first. Uh, I'm going to do scarlet and purple next, but uh, I want to make it so that it's easy to find on YouTube. For example, if somebody wanted to know what the uh, what the color blue meant in the Bible. Well, the answer to that would be in Numbers chapter 15 and verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bind, oh, I'm sorry, and bid them that they may make fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the the fringes, I'm sorry, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Okay, and that they might they and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, and it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Now, what was that ribbon of blue for? It was to be a fringe so that when you look at it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Blue was to represent the law, the commandments of the Lord. Okay? And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. You know, James said, be not just here's here's a um be it's no james said be doers of law and not hear hearers only deceiving yourselves i'm not going to look it up you can look it up all right and remember all the commandments of the lord and do them that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye use to go a whoring so our heart and our eyes are used to go a whoring. Boy, that's the truth. Um, what do men? What do men look for in a woman? They want to see beauty. That's what they want. Um, that's why all the Israelites married all those Canaanite women. They must have been gorgeous. Them, them Canaanite girls must have been beauty queens. So. Let's take a look at eyes and heart. Uh, 
In Genesis 3, 6, you know, God, the Lord warned them, Adam and Eve, not to, don't play around with that tree of good and evil. Don't do it. Bad news. Genesis 3, 6, and when the woman saw, what do you, and, and we're not talking about a, something you use to cut wood with, okay? And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, oh yeah, it was pleasing to the eyes, it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Ooh, bad news bears. Now, what is the pathology of sin? Uh, pathology is the study of the spread of disease. Ology means study of. And then path, well, you know what a path is. You know, you follow a path down the forest, sort of like a road. So pathology just means following the trail of the disease, the study of. So what is the pathology of sin? You ever heard of a pathologist, a doctor? He studies epidemics. And no, not the beer thing that they're faking right now. 1 John 2.16 For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. A tree desired to make one wise. She saw it was pleasant. Saw a tree to be desired? Oh, yeah. All right, what about the heart? Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Well, if you listen to a radio show back in the, I don't know, 40s or 50s, they said, the shadow knows. E well, I don't think so. Who knows? Who can know it? The Lord. And Satan. Satan knows how evil we can be. Yeah, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? All right, well, I wasn't going to look it up, but I did. James 1.22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So, blue was to be a reminder of the law. So keep that in mind. Um, before they started spraying the skies, uh, there was a time when the sky was actually blue. I remember that. In the 60s, 70s, 80s, and part of the 90s. But that was a long, you know, that was like a fairy tale. Long ago and far away. Long, long ago and far, far away. Not anymore. Now the skies are kind of a grayish whatever it is, with God and Satan only knowing what they're spraying us with. So, all righty. All right, this is Chaplain Bob Walker signing off. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.